Control device-to-device -device pairing requires at least two devices, a controller and a responder. In this example, the controller is the leak sensor, while the valve controller is the responder. When pairing, the responder should be in the on or off state that you want it to change to when the controller alerts. Therefore, ensure the valve is closed, and the valve controller is indicated as closed before starting the pairing. Press and hold the set button on the leak sensor for 5 to 10 seconds until the LED quickly blinks green. Then, press and hold the set button on the valve controller for 5 to 10 seconds until the set button quickly blinks green. Pairing is complete. Repeat the process to pair additional leak sensors. Test the paired devices. If it is not already open, press the set button on the valve controller to open the valve. Perform a functional test of the leak sensors. A damp paper towel can be used to test the leak sensor. Verify the valve closes automatically. Repeat the process for each leak sensor. Unpairing is a similar process. Press and hold the set button on the leak sensor for 10 to 15 seconds until the LED quickly blinks red. Then, press and hold the set button on the valve controller for 10 to 15 seconds until the set button quickly blinks red. The easiest way to unpair the valve controller is to perform a factory reset. Press and hold the set button on the valve controller until the set button blinks red and green alternatively. You can test the sensors now, to confirm the pairing has been removed. It is important that your valve controller firmware is version 090E, or newer. In device settings for the controller, update the firmware as needed. Regarding this process, refer to the valve controller user guide for more information or contact us at service at yosmart.com. Thank you.